Good morning. It is 545 on a Wednesday morning. And over the next 43 hours, we are going on what can only be described as a mega tour here in Peru. We're going to the desert oasis of Huacachina. The poor man's Galapagos. We made it out to the islands and we already saw- And somehow we're fitting in a Pisco tour. How is it? And two five hour bus rides. That will land us back here in this apartment at 1 a.m. Friday morning. Now for a super quick bus tour since we're spending quite a bit of time on here. TVs, there's tons of leg room, USBs, and a bathroom. Our first adventure today is heading out on a two-hour boat tour to Ballestas Islands, also known as the Poor Man Galapagos. Which we're poor, so it's perfect. <laughs> we were told there will be some potential for splashing, so we're preparing the backpack. First time ever seeing penguins, wild. I'm so excited right now. Sea <laughs> lions right there. The water is so clear here. You can see all the way to the bottom. There are so many animals here. It is so cool to see sea lions and birds and penguins. I'm keeping my eye out for some animals in the water though. Oh, look at those starfish. They have like a oh, million yeah. legs. Working hard to get up there too. tour was mostly driving to and from the islands. We actually spent about 25 minutes out there, which went by so fast. Since we were on the right side of the boat, it was a little more difficult for us to see since they were driving by everything on the left side of the boat. It was an incredible experience being able to get so up close and personal with some of the wildlife. They really were able to move the boat wherever they needed it to go. And even though it was a pretty quick tour, we got to see the sea lions play fighting and that was my favorite part. <laughs> The 
only thing that Peru Hop doesn't provide with their transportation and tours are accommodations and food. So we packed our own lunch. I don't usually condone feeding wild animals, but this one is just giving me the look. Hey, puppers. Hey, puppers. All right, ready? Okay. What are you so happy about, huh? Oh, hi. You're so cute. We are doing our entire two-day tour to Paracas, Huacachina, and Ica for a Pisco tour with Peru Hop. This bus company works throughout Peru, and normally how it works is you book a package with the destinations that you want to go to, like Lima, Cusco, Arequipa, and Huacachina. And you get to pick the days you go. So if you want to spend two nights in Lima, or even two weeks in Lima, you can do that. We, however, just booked a day trip, which is actually two days, so we can see some of the top sites from Lima and back. In five minutes, we should be ready to continue, okay? Okay. Paracachina is only 90 minutes away from here. Oh, good. Peace out, Paracas. In the next 10 seconds on your right, you will see the oasis. This is Paracachina. I got a little sunburn today. You see this? It's a perfect outline of what happened. So a lot of this, since we're going up in sand dunes, it feels appropriate that we're doing something extreme. We should have a Red Bull first, which we've done. So I feel like we've checked all the boxes. We're gonna go. better than any roller coaster I've ever been in my life. You're just going over a sand dune and just drops out from underneath you and your seatbelt comes off and someone saves your life. I know. I'm literally crying so much. Oh, you're so nice to help you. <laughs> oh my God. I think this is the hill we're going down. It's so high. We can barely snowboard. I'd rather go down this on a sled than in that. I thought he was taking us down it. Who's gonna get hurt first? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
Jeez, it's all sand. <laughs> Literally, I'm like a size four now. <laughs> that looks hard. Yeah. Hey! We got it though. Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh, babe, that was so awesome. It was though. awesome. It looks straight down, <laughs> and it is, but like it's a good pace. I was not ready. <laughs> he literally was like, okay, and then just pushed me off. Yeah, it's better that way, I think. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta show you this. This is like, I cannot believe how much. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Both feet. <laughs> Both feet. Those are nuts. I'm so <laughs> we just surfed down a giant sand dune in Peru. That's more like boogie boarding. A little bit, but <laughs> I'm okay with that. It was so cool though. Wow. Hey, you want to the outside this time? No. No? No. Why? <laughs> I do not want to fall out. Round two. One more time on the boogie boards. <laughs> it's not really surfing, but it's so gorgeous up here. So we didn't know this, but there's two types of boards and uh, we've been upgraded to the faster board. I don't know that we deserve it, but I'm excited to try. <laughs> I don't want to be one of the people that flip and you just see their like legs over the horizon. <laughs> it's happened a couple times. <laughs> They're okay though. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is crazy. You want to go first? I guess. <laughs> I don't want to see you fall and then me have to go. I'm going to go. Oh my god. Did you go? Wow. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, it's definitely faster! <laughs> that was crazy. That was Nate's hat. <laughs> you lost your hat, babe. Yeah, like one fourth of the way down. <laughs> So it's a really tall climb. Hope someone hits it down here. That was wild. Did you hear me? Everybody heard you. Like they heard you in Wakachina. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Loved it. It was so awesome. You should drive for NASCAR and other racing outlets. Muchas gracias. gracias. You're so nice. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, babe. That was supposed to be more graceful. <laughs> Ow! God, are you okay? Oh, I'm great. It's 6.05 a.m. And to get here right now, we had to wake up at... Four in the morning. That's too early. It 
It took us about 30 minutes to get up here in a straight incline at first. And my watch says we walked a thousand steps in just this sand that gives away every time you step. It was so hard. Come to find out as we got up here, there's actually a much easier path, yeah. but it's longer and farther around. And we, but we didn't know how much time we had for sunrise. And it looks like we had a lot of time because there's no sunrise. And we're just gonna wait it out and hope this fog burns off and that we get a sunrise. Otherwise we're gonna conclude we're either here the wrong time of year or that sunrises don't exist here. And it's just better to come for sunset. Well, sunrise is over. So even if it clears up, like it's over. It's true. We'll be back for sunset. Yeah. But we have more stuff to do in the meantime. It is 6.45 and it may have taken us 30 minutes to get up there, but it only took us 30 seconds to slide down. <laughs> we are going to grab some breakfast because we are in desperate need of coffee and our next tour is at 10. And now chocolate. Now you have more experience, you know? Yeah. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> We're trying the chocolate tejas. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got a dozen to go. She said they last a month. I told her they won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I got one of each, including like rum raisin and peach, dried plum, all kinds of stuff. now at a Pisco distillery where we have been assured that if the oh, sun good. has not turned our faces red that the Pisco will. Unfortunately, we will never know if that's true because I am clearly sunburned from yesterday. The name of the distillery is Nieto and it is gorgeous here. Looks like it's all outdoors with lots of shade so hopefully we won't get more sunburned. First up is the tour of the vineyard since Pisco is made from grapes. It's kind of like a winery. First, you need the grapes and harvesting is only once per year between February and March. Once the grapes are harvested, they have a huge festival where people come and dance on the grapes in this eight ton pit. And once the grapes are smushed down, it flows through into this giant vat and they make a really cool drink with the fresh grape juice and Pisco. It's like a Red Bull to keep them energized to dance all night long. Next, the juice comes into these clay pots to ferment for at least 12 days. Next, they ferment it over a slow burning fire in copper cauldrons to get the alcohol level to just be the clear Pisco. And lastly, it comes out into these stainless steel jars where it'll sit eventually for three months. Pisco has a ton of rules and regulations to actually make sure it's Pisco and not something similar to Pisco. Kind of like how when you go to Champagne, France, that's the only place champagne is actually made. Everything else is just sparkling wine. Comes out in three phases, a head, a body, and a tail, and only the body is used. Out of every 100 liters that gets fermented, only about 15 liters is the body that gets bottled. And then it's ready to taste. Okay, the first one is a mix between the Italia green grape and the Pisco 70-30. This one's 16%. Cheers. Oh, wow. This is very good. He said it tastes like a port wine, like very thick and desserty almost, but it's used as an aperitivo, which is before a meal. It's very good, cold. It's like I say, it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer in this group. Okay? Uh, yeah? Clap for the volunteer. Oh my 
Peerless. <laughs> so now we're gonna serve a full glass of, of this a full shot. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna sing a song. They're gonna drink all the piece, okay? Uh, but after I'm gonna grab the glasses and I'm gonna put them upside down. No drop must fall on the floor. If there is just a single drop, they're gonna repeat the challenge. Okay? <laughs> Let me check it, okay? Three. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. We are done with the tasting now, and it was honestly way more involved than we thought it was going to be. Back when we did the moonshine tasting in Tennessee earlier this year, it was maybe 10 minutes long, and it was just quick shooting small little glasses. And this time it was like 30 minutes with eight different Biscos and games, and it was so much fun. Now we have a couple hours to kill before sunset. Yeah. <laughs> I think we made it up the steepest part and now we just have to climb the ridge of the sand dune and we learned that the tallest sand dunes in South America are right here in this desert so I'm hoping it's not the one we're about to climb all the way to the top of. <laughs> Baby. My legs kill, N namely my calves. My calves right now are on fire. Look at that freaking sky, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. I can't believe our time in Wakachina is already over, but I'm really glad that I pronounced it correct the first time for at least this part of the video. It's the first time <laughs> and the only time. <laughs> but we almost didn't come here and we we're so glad we did. It has been one of our favorite experiences here in Peru and we're leaving and we're so sad. We loved Peru. If you liked Peru, if you liked Wakachina, hit the like button below for us. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we have one last day in Peru. Check it out in a couple days. Good night. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was too late. I'm so sorry. It was such a cool shot. I know. It really was, too. <laughs> Only about 15 meters gets made as the body to go into bottles to sell. Did you say uh, meters or liters? Did I say meters? I think you might have. Yeah.